Okay guys, welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I will be showing you how to run your SNES games or Super Nintendo games on your PS4. You heard me right guys, we'll be playing ROMs on the PS4 from the SNES. Now, um, before we do get into this, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate all the love that you've been giving me, and um, thank you for, to everyone who has subscribed so far, I really do appreciate it, every subscription does count, and um, if I could please ask for you guys as well, if this video helps you at all, please make sure you do subscribe, and um, please leave a like on the video, make sure to comment, and um, if you think your friends might like it even tell them to watch it <laughs> anything helps out guys uh, especially the way that it's going with um, YouTube terminating partnerships at the end of the month so um, every subscription counts but um, anyways back into the video now today I'll be showing you how to run the SNES package now I will not be showing you how to make those just yet that'll be in the next video but for this video here you can find out how to run the SNES package so on the PSX hacks website they have the package all here, so you've got the actual zip, you've got the SNES station package that comes with 10 ROMs included by this guy. Um, yeah, I think all the details and stuff will be in here and the icons so that you can make it run yourself. And um, you might even need... No, I don't think you need that one. Anyways, thank you to Nominus for um, uploading this and uh, for telling everyone how to do this. So. Essentially, the way that this runs is you will be emulating the PS2 through the PS4, and then from the PS2, you'll be emulating PS2 Homebrew, which was the old SNES station. Now, that Homebrew would allow you to run SNES games on your PS2. So, think of it like PS4 emulates the PS2. PS2 emulates the Super Nintendo, and then it plays the ROMs that you choose like that. So it's like emulator inception. But anyways, so just keep in mind, as it says here, you will not be able to use USB for your ROMs until we can escape the sandbox. So in long story short, we can't use PS to USB to um, emulate the, uh, what's it called, for the files, the emulator files. So you will need to make sure that everything is pre-packaged in the package file once you're creating it. So you have to compile your own package with the actual ROMs in it. So anyways, I'll show you how to do that in another video. But for this video today, I will be showing you the actual, actual program running. So as you can see here, I've got the Super Nintendo MU on my PS4. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go and open that up. And I uh, should start quite nicely with a nice uh, controller in the background for all you OGs that remember what that is. Now uh, as you can see that's the PS2 emulator coming on now and if you take a look we are now on the um, actual emulator screen so I'm just going to switch my screen to the actual PS4 so I can see what's going on a bit better. Now um, you're going to want to go into CD-ROM which is the actual game because it's emulating the game. Anyways and then you're going to want to go into ROMs and um, you, this, where, this is where your ROMs will be if you've created it correctly. So you're going to find the game you want to play now, just for old time's sake. I'm going to find uh, Super Mario. Where are we here? Super Mario All-Stars. Let's play this one. Now, um, as you can see, that's the that's ROM starting up. And um, I don't know if this actually saves yet, to be honest with you guys. I'm not too sure if it saves. It might save, it might not. But anyways, I'm going to start it anyways. So as you can see, da -da -da -da. all right. So we'll go single player. The sound is a little bit off, which I find a bit weird. But it's all right. Doesn't matter. Um, from what I see here, you can use both the um, analog stick. And the arrow keys to uh, play, which is kind of cool. I used to, used to hate having to press that arrow button down all the time on the old uh, Super Nintendo. It sucked. But, as you can see here, seems to be quite smooth gameplay, apart from the little bit of the sound glitch that's going on. Oops. Shows you how good I was at this game, doesn't it? Whoopsies. Alright. Let's see if we can fly. 
Ooh. Alright. For all you people who don't know what this game is, you're missing out on so much. This game was the best back in the day. So, hopefully if you have a um, jailbroken PS4, you can give it a go and you can know what I mean. Alrighty. And there you go. Finished. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video and the uh, little playthrough. Nostalgia, taking it back to the past. Now, um, look guys, if you have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment down in the description. I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Um, if you guys want to know anything, just let me know. If you need me to help you with anything, I'll be 100% trying to help you out and um, also if you guys made it this far into the video you want to just let me know that you've made it this far maybe comment something funny like I don't know maybe save the princess for example let's see um, how many people want to save the princess all right make sure to drop that down in the comments below and um, stay tuned for the next video guys please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe peace out <laughs>